Hi boys and girls, this is Ms. Baldry at the Science Station. So we've been learning about heredity and the study of heredity is called genetics. And the focus this week is going to be on learning about the differences between inherited traits versus learned traits. And a trait is a quality or a characteristic that you have. And some of those traits can be things that you are born with through your genes and some of them can be things that you learn on your own or because of your environment, it changes. So we're going to be learning about the difference between those and then we'll be learning more in class. This episode will focus on traits. Traits of living things can be inherited or acquired or learned. Traits are characteristics of a living thing. Inherited traits are passed down from parents to offspring when they reproduce. Inherited traits cannot be changed. For example, eye color is an example of an inherited trait. The presence of freckles on someone's face is another example of an inherited trait. Hair color is another example of an inherited trait. How tall or short you are is another trait that is inherited from your parents. Organisms can develop new characteristics after they are born. These characteristics cannot be inherited or passed on. For example, learning how to read is an example of a learned or acquired trait. Learning how to play football is an example of a learned or acquired trait. Learning how to play piano is another example of an acquired trait. Why am I the way I am today? Is it because I am born being a certain way? Or is it that I can become a certain way? Is it actually both of these things that affect who I am? It's a classic question of nature versus nurture. In other words, is who I am dependent on my genetics? You know, the nature part that you are born with, that you have no control over. Or, does who I am depend on the outward things that I'm affected by? That I actually do have a little bit of control over. It. For example, the food that I eat or the exercise that I get. Well, let's find out with today's standard. Three ten B. Inherited traits and learned behaviors. Explore that some characteristics of organisms are inherited, such as the number of limbs on an animal or flower color, and recognize that some behaviors are learned in response to living in a certain environment, such as animals using tools to get food. 410b Inherited Traits and Learned Behaviors Demonstrate that some likenesses between parents and offspring are inherited passed from generation to generation, such as eye color of humans or shapes of leaves and plants. Other likenesses are learned, such as table manners or reading a book, and seals, balance, and balls for nurses. Find the difference between two or more things. For example, can you differentiate between these two super cute twins? Yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm the one with the friend. Or how about differentiating between tree swings and a zip line? Each one providing a different experience of motion for the participant. Inherited traits. You just pass along the genetics from parents to offspring. For example, this snake is born without any limbs, but it can still move and climb very quickly. Or take, for example, this tarantula. 
It has been born with these little hairs all over its body called sporadicating hairs that helps it to defend itself from predators or those wanting to eat it. How about this poison ivy plant that inherently covers itself with a toxic oil that causes irritation to those wanting to touch it? Learned behavior. Actions that are picked up or acquired through experience or practice. For example, this horse has learned through consistent training to obey his rider's commands. Wow, that's, that's really high up there. I sure hope he doesn't buck that rider off. That would be a long fall. Take, for example, this child who has learned to perform tricks on a trampoline. Hopefully without breaking his neck. What about this guy doing awesome bike stunts? Oh, ooh, that's kind of hurt. Okay, note to self, don't ride DMX bike and try to do tricks. Let's explain what this concept is all about. See, some traits are inherited from parents to their offspring while certain behaviors are learned during an organism's lifetime. Inherited characteristics, or traits you're born with, are things such as hair color, that is, if you have hair, or the shape of the beak and spines on a cactus. Acquired characteristics can include learned behaviors, such as a child riding a bicycle, or animals learning tricks. It can also include physical characteristics, such as a scar. For example, these animals were not born with the traits of being circus performers. And these crazy bicycles, and whatever this lady is doing, were not born with these abilities but had to learn them. So, why is this important to know? We want to understand that some creatures are born with certain abilities, while oftentimes creatures have to learn what to do in order to accomplish them. For example, these boys weren't born with the ability to read, they had to learn that skill. Take another example. If you were to observe your baby sister, you may notice that she learned to crawl without anyone showing her how to do this. While on the other hand, in order for her to communicate, she has to be taught what to say and how to say it, whether verbally or with motions. She has to learn it. So, so what did we learn, learn today? today? We learned in 5.10b about the difference between inherited traits and learned behaviors of organisms. No need to guess where is success. Know the standards. Know the star test. All right, boys and girls, so we have learned about inherited versus learned traits. And again, a trait is a characteristic, and we're learning the word organism, so any living thing is an organism. So um, organisms all have inherited or they have learned traits. And so an inherited trait is something that you can't change, something like your eye color or how tall you are or if you have freckles. Those are just things that you are born with. It's the way that you are and you've received those genes from your parents. And a learned trait was a characteristic that you have learned along the way. So it might be um, riding a bike or reading or doing math really well or um, being really great at puzzles or something like that that you have learned. And it's something that um, changes with your environment and um, is not necessarily something that you've picked up from your parents. So I've got another little video for you to learn about the differences between inherited and learned traits.
learned behaviour is based on experience. It is acquired only through observation, so it wouldn't be present in animals raised alone, without others of their species to observe, and it isn't coded in DNA. Individuals learn a behaviour if they have previously gained a benefit from the behaviour, and a learned behaviour can be improved and refined through practice. When you hear the school bell ring and you go to your lesson, you are performing a learned behaviour. When you hear the bell, you know it signals that it's time to go to your next class because you have learned to do it by repeating the same action in response to the stimulus, so you won't get in trouble. Learned behaviour is different throughout the population and is affected by the environment. For example, a dolphin can learn to perform and jump through a hoop. This behaviour has been affected by the dolphin's environment. It has been taught by a trainer and it knows that if it jumps through the hoop it will receive a reward. A wild dolphin wouldn't necessarily know to jump through a hoop if presented with one. Alright boys and girls, it's time to finish up our video today on inherited versus learned traits. The trait is a characteristic that you have and what you're looking at is just a few examples of some inherited possible traits. So your skin color or how tall you are or if you have freckles or not or the shape of your face. Those are all inherited traits and learned traits are things that you can um, learn from your environment. So we'll keep working on this in class. I hope you have a great week.